blood fever coming at you. Subscribe to Papa's YouTube channel. We're, We're out. All right, folks. Let me show you what I got here. I got this Murray's beeswax. It's emulsified beeswax, 100% Australian beeswax and mineral oil. And there's another ingredient I'm not showing here. I didn't want to carry it with me is mineral spirit. So there's an eighth a cup of this, an eighth a cup of the mineral oil, and one tablespoon of mineral spirits put together as an emulsifier. And it makes this stuff. And this is what it looks like. It's really slick. And it basically looks and feels like Vaseline. Uh, not so sure that ain't what it is at this point. Uh, I'm sure it's not exactly the same. But that's what it looks like. I mixed this up. Uh, this was an idea that I came up with. And we're going to see if it's any good. If it ain't any good, we, we did it for nothing. But uh, doing it with the CCI standard velocity. And I'm going to do this with TAC-22 also because... The TAC-22 just has a better projectile. The crimps are a lot tighter. I didn't find any loose crimps in the whole 50 round box. 25% of the, uh, the, the rounds in a box of CCI standard velocity have loose crimps. So there we are at 50 yards. We'll go down there and start the camera on the target and we're gonna get this thing going. Be right back with you. All right, folks. I've got 25 of these non-lube CCI standard velocities here. And, well, if I can get it in there, what's going on? Mag latches hung up there. Now, let's get this started. And then we'll get over to the lube stuff and see how it does. So, let's get our first rounds down there. Second group. All right, not looking bad, not looking bad. Uh, I'm beginning to see that there's not a major difference with any of these lubes so far. There was a couple of them that had a pretty good difference. I think the mineral oil was one, and maybe the beef tallow beeswax one. But... Uh, like I say, I think the CCI standard velocity is just too inconsistent. And look at this group. And I really feel like that the Norm Attack 22 is going to be what winds up being the best option for finding a better lube because the forcing bands are better, the shape of the projectile, the crimp on the brass, everything about it's better. And the factory lube that comes on it wipes right off. I 
Ain't none of those groups down there bad at all. Ain't bad at all. Let's get our lube ammo over here. Give it a try. It's some pretty slick stuff here. Pretty slick stuff. So let's move back over and down. Alright. First group. Uh-oh. Oh, for some reason. Let's see if that did it. I normally don't have any trouble with this rifle. Well, that one looked pretty good. That looked pretty good. Let's see if it stays with it. I bet it won't. Second group. That opened up a little. Third group. I pulled that one fast. This is a sit counts trigger. It pulls pretty easy. If I get my finger snagged on it when I don't want to, I need to pay attention to that. That would have been about the same size group though, regardless. All right, fourth group. Yeah, this one's open the way up. Yeah, that don't look good. Don't look good at all. That's going to rain that whole lubed average. That tighten back up. Now when I start going through these and sorting out the ones that have bad crimps, I think it's going to make a difference. So let's go down there and get that target, measure it up, see how we did. That one group kind of threw things off. If it hadn't have been for that, it uh, it looked okay, but I don't see any I don't see any improvement over the unleaved ammo, to be honest with you. I don't think there is any improvement. Uh, there might be a little in some of the groups, but at this point, I won't have to go a different route to find a decent budget ammo that we can work with, I believe. 
and we're going to do that next. We're going to try some TAP-22, see how it does. Be right back with you. All right, folks. We ain't doing anything good here this morning. We got a 492 on the unlubed and a 0.51 on the lubed. It's very, very close to the same, and that's just inconsistencies in the ammo. So uh, we're going to try something different now. We're going to try some TAC-22. I have 25 rounds that I took the factory lube off of, and I've got 25 rounds that I put this same lube on, and we're going to try that. So be right back with you, get things set up, and we'll get going. 